Hey friends, so today we are doing, which let me say, I did a video and I was showing the make kit, but I didn't show you how to, let me, hold on. I didn't show you how to put it in your planner. So, <clears throat> first I want to introduce some payday stickers. We have the, uh, let me zoom in just a little. We have the green payday stickers, because some people like the flags. So we have the green flags with the white writing. And then we have the uh, green flags with the black writing. So, that's out the way. So also, I'm just going to remake the video. So also, this is our May sticker set. As in the April, which I did an April one, so that one will probably come out before this one. But they'll probably be either up on the same day or within the next day. So, I didn't realize I'm pretty much behind. So, I'm new to making stickers, so I didn't know I had to basically make it two months in advance. <laughs> well, I've already made the stickers, but I didn't know I needed to post them two months in advance. So, these, you get nine credit card stickers, four payday little drops, um, teardrops, and two little boxes you get 28 bill due stickers you get a sinking funds a header and three little thin washi strips and i incorporated in may baby steps so you have baby step three four baby step one and two you get your week one your week two your week three and your week four for your weekly check-ins and the two header boxes and i'll show you how those work you get your may um, header, you get your um, May monthly budget, your May weekly check-in, your May expenses, and on this set here, this is this is the full kit. Um, I do have the mini, but I'll be doing that upon request, um, because for now, no one is purchasing anything, so I may make a little mini one, um, just for show. But income estimated and actual, and you get five of those, and four is for your weekly. You get an expenses budget and actual that goes with your May expenses. You get a total income, a total expenses, and you get one thin solid washi tape and another header. And we did the set sinking funds. So let's get started, and I'll probably fast forward through how to put it in because I don't want to bore you guys. So let's flip on to May. So this is May. Okay, y'all, I want us to come back because we're going to do our fill-in of the month. And with our basic reoccurring stuff that we have going on. And that's where the bill due stickers come in. Also, <clears throat> our credit card stickers and our payday stickers and our boxes. Well, I had to put in like 
my totals, you know, for the month of March for each Saturday. And I got to thinking, and I was just like, you know what? I need some total boxes. So I had went to the back, and I ripped up my paper. I went to the back of um, my book to get some total boxes. I said, well, cool, I'll just use these. But they really wasn't matching. They mainly was matching the muff. They wasn't matching the color scheme that I had going on. So I decided to make my own functional stickers. I decided to make these boxes here so they could be for whatever you want to write in. Um, so instead of saying build do, they're just empty. And I put in my totals. So, and I didn't want to write totals because I wanted it to be like functional for everyone else. I mean, and totals would have been cool because I could have put it, you know, you could have put it anywhere. Also, I got the check boxes so that way I can line them up on the side. And I made flags and I made payday stickers to go with the color scheme. Um, I, I, I said in another video that I want to, um, I'm gonna start putting these down. I want to basically start um, paying myself on Saturday. So the payday stickers will basically come in hand for that. So I'm putting these down so that <clears throat> when I get my totals on Saturday, I can come in and when I do my weekly check-ins, I can put those totals here. And I didn't want to make them too big, but big enough so that I could see them and I knew what was going on. I should have given me some Boofrent stickers, this color. Also, you can take those same functional stickers and you can put them over here on the side like this. And like, if you don't need them for anything else, you can just run them on down as far as your goals. So you can put your goals there, whatever your monthly goals are. Let me see. Or if it's something that doesn't require a bill due sticker. And then you can take the flag boxes. You can put those on the side. If you don't want to use them in your... Y'all, I can't find my um, tweezers, so I'm struggling to make stuff even. Okay. You can put a flag over there. Uh, what else? You could take check boxes. The check boxes come. Now, this is going to be difficult. I don't know what I did with my tweezers. Oh, here they go. Ooh. Yeah, you're definitely going to need some tweezers for the check box stickers. So... You can take your check boxes and add those on the side. And I didn't count how many check boxes you get. But now you have check boxes. So when you, I should have made like a little hole between them, but it's all good. Uh, something I'll retweak later. So, let me find now I'm just looking for my um, booth rent stickers oh and I did I did make booth rent stickers uh, for this kit sorry about that so these are my booth rent stickers so if you're self-employed you know and you pay booth rent then these will be perfect for you and then I just made like some basic ones here so they can go with like in my everyday carry or if there's a month I don't feel like making any, they will go with anything. They're gray. So now I'm filling in my booth rent. You all, I'm still be going to work, but I was like, I gotta make this video because I'm behind pretty much and I call myself getting ahead and then I see everyone's putting up their May stickers. I'm like, well, dang, I thought I had to. These are April. <laughs> but I guess I don't. So, um, booth rent is in. Now, I have a credit card bill. I know it's doing the first, so I'll put that in, which is Victoria's Secrets. But I plan to, like, pay that up. So, I'm going to put it here on the second. That's that. Um, again, I don't get paydays, but we got some bill due stickers. So I'm going to put down my most obvious ones that I know off the top of my head that I'm not going to forget, which is the 11th, which is my car note. Get my pen. Okay. 
and that's another one is due on the 20th. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Can you all see? Then I have a uh, Matter of fact, I was saying that, you know what? I've been paying the hubby on the wrong day. It's today. It's doing the 19th. Hubby. Okay. Uh, the 28th is car insurance. Those are my three main, well, one of my bills, main bills. So the 28th is car insurance. So I'll put that here. And I'm going to just start starting from the bottom. And that way, if something comes about, then I can work my way up and I don't cover up the dates. Uh, what else? Car notes. Oh, I can't forget that sale bill. What's today? The 20th, I think. The 20th was so 21st. So the 21st is my cell phone bill. That's the original date that it's due. My baby girl's phone broke today, so I gotta put a hustle on getting that paid off. Uh, what else is due? Let's look back in. I got um, April filled in. Let's see. Uh, I got the water bill I paid on the 15th. So water bill and ADT. Let's see what I got it for April. Um, yeah. So I got it for the 15th. Water bill and ADT. Y'all, that's sad. That was my alarm. So that's why I'm so glad because people have bills they're really paying down. So 28 bill due stickers should be enough. And <clears throat> if not, they can be sold alone by themselves if you need extra uh, water bill. And ADT bill. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, Aflac. I paid Aflac on the 16th of last month. Sometimes AFLAC, it depends. I may just pay them um, a different day. So I may pay them on the 4th. I think I'm going to pay them on and I always kind of pay on a Saturday. So I'm going to pay the 18th. So I gotta keep going back because, oh, my gym membership. So this April kinda, I look back at what's name. So I got a Weebly bill now. And I didn't put this in for April. I gotta put this in for April, hold on. Because also, um, Weebly, what was it? GoDaddy came out. And I thought, oh, it, I got it twice. The 18th? So it's the 18th. I already got it down. Never mind. 18th is GoDaddy and Weebly. I'm going to put it on the 17th because I have no more room left. On the 18th, which is a Saturday. Go Daddy and Weebly, and then my gym membership is this day as well. I believe gym membership, uh, Weebly. I got a lot of stuff. Gym membership. This is a little crooked. And I'm going to probably make a separate video 
of me doing my regular budget. Build to gym. We bleed 16. This is 5. And this is 19. Alright, let's see. Let's go back into April. Oh, Schedulicity is on the 25th. I'm going to move Schedulicity over here to the 24th. And what else? No spin phone bill. Order Weebly car note, hubby bill, booth and collection sale bill car note. Okay, that's it so far for the month of May. Again, this kit will be in my um, store. I don't know if I put the booth rent stickers in there, but I'll put them in there as well. And again, you get nine credit card stickers. I've used one. And everything that you see here. So I'll do a quick flip through. And I think that's how I missed last month. Was I just set it up. But I didn't go back in and fill it in. So. And I decided to put my expenses on this page. Because last month. March rather. I had them here. And I ran out of space. So. I knew they needed a whole page to themselves. So you do it the way that works best for you. Then we have our monthly here. And also, if you receive them, I'm going to work on this sizing of this one. But I thought that was a good size. Um, May budget here. Your income. And I only left a few little spaces. And total income. And then I could use this for something else. Um, May weekly check-in. And this is what that looks like. And I'm going to go back and put lines and all that good stuff in there. Sinking funds, baby step. And I got to, um, like I said, you know, I'm still new to this. So I'm making, I'm tweaking it. So the sinking funds, you know, you can take one of these washies and write in whatever you want. Um, I am think I'm going to make a, a flag. I mean, a washi for that. Baby step one, baby step two, baby step three. I'm on baby step one, so I'm going as far as baby step four. So, and I'm realizing baby step four, five, and whatever needs more washi. But what I can do is um, make the baby steps for you as a special offer. I mean, not a special offer, but a um, add-on if you like. So, if you need a baby step that I don't have, you can request the baby step in this color and or this form and I can make it for you so it'll be you know an extra one on so if you don't need let's say baby step one I can replace baby step one with baby step seven or whatever it is that you need and so I still have this back page so so far I don't have anything to put there um we can put goals I'm thinking I may do a goals page so goal one goal two goal three go for it blah 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 so that's it for now. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, you can always go to my site, www.norriscove.com. Um, if you don't see something, please feel free to send me a message. Uh, my email is info at norriscove.com. Um, anything else, everything else will be listed down below in the description box. So thank you all so much for watching. Bye.